Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Bipanis Agustian. I'm from Polytechnic State of Banjarmasin. I'm here today to talk to you about one of the Caterpillar unit product that is wheel loader. I've divided my talk into three sections. First, I'll go over the explanation of wheel loader. Then, we look at the explanation of drive component of wheel loader. And finally, I'll give the summary of the topic. But before I talk deeper into this topic, let's start with the questions. Do you know what heavy equipment is? Well, heavy equipment is a large machine designed to carry out construction work such as earthwork and moving building materials. Heavy equipment is important factors in projects, especially construction and mining projects and other activities on a large scale. The use of heavy equipment has been carried out since Roman's time. Fit through views in his book the XC Tutorial Record using a simple crane. Okay, let's start with wheel loaders. Let me go into some more detail about it. Wheel loaders is used in building construction, the forestry industry, heavy construction, and the mining industry because they can perform a wide variety of jobs. Wheel loader are the most suitable machine for moving light excavated materials, pile materials, and blasting materials. Wheel loaders can move materials up to 100 meters or 300 feet. Wheel loaders work best on dry, hard floors. Wet surfaces that are easy to come back will slow down loader performance. A wet surface with rocks will cause tearing or injury to the tire. Okay, let's move to the other topic of wheel loaders, the drive component of wheel loader. The drive power of wheel loaders is obtained from the engine which is transmitted to series to final drive components. There are two drive systems on the wheel loaders, namely, first, mechanical drive train, second, hydrostatic drive train. Okay, first, mechanical drive train. In a system that uses a mechanical drive train, there are the following components. 1. Engine. 2. Torque converter. 3. Transmission. 4. Axle. 5. Brake. 6. Final drive. And 7. Rim and tire. First, engine. The engine is a power producer in accordance with the load received by the machine. Various types of engines are installed on Caterpillar wheel loader ranging from 53 to 1600 horsepower with a variety of engine technologies in use, from mechanical to electronic engines. Second, torque converter. The power from the engine is then transmitted to torque converter. Torque converter is a component that functions to multiply torque so that engine speeds can be converted into high torque to do work. Third, transmission. From the torque converter, the power is passed on the transmission. Transmission is a component that functions to regulate speed, torque, and the directions of rotations. Fourth, axle. Power is transfer and control from transmission to each wheel using the bevel gear, differential, brake, and final drive mechanism contained in a component called the axle. Fifth, brake. The brake is start of time system which function to reduce speed and stop the machines. Two types of brakes are used in wheel loaders today. First, wet disc and second, caliper disc. Six, final drive. The final drive is a component that continues the final power to the wheels. Final drive decreases speed and increases torque. Rim and tire. From the final drive, the power is transferred into the wheels or tire through the rim mechanism, which is a tire support component in the arrangement shown above. Second, hydrostatic 
drivetrain. In the hydrostatic system, the mechanical energy from the engine is converted into fluid energy, powered by hydraulic pump and forwarded to the control valve. Control valve functions to regulate the directions and speed of the machines. Then, the hydraulic flow is forwarded to the hydraulic motor to change the fluid energy back into mechanical energy and forwarded to the axle and wheels. The advantage of hydrostatic system is that it can produce a smoother and more precious level of control. Hydraulic system consists of a number of components that work together to produce work. The hydraulic system of the wheel loaders is used to control the bucket. The series of components that work together to produce work are first engine, second hydraulic pump, third cover valve, and fourth hydraulic cylinder. First engine. The engine generates mechanical energy which is then transmitted to the hydraulic pump. Second, hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump converts mechanical energy into fluid energy by producing a flow or fluid or oil to the hydraulic system. Third, control valve. The control valve is a component that regulates the amount and direction of flow to the hydraulic cylinder. Fourth, cylinder hydraulic. The hydraulic cylinder converts the energy fluid into work to drive the steering cylinder, bucket lift cylinder, and bucket tilt cylinder. Well, that brings me to the end of my presentation. Let me give a summary of what I've been talking about over the last maybe six minutes. As what I've told there are many kinds of caterpillar product and one of them is wheel loaders. So wheel loaders can move easily by itself. Of course there is the other component that work together to make a work. So maybe that's it from me. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.